I want all of you ladies and gentlemen to give yourselves a huge round of applause. Victory is ours. We are the ones who saw through the attempt at a race war by Meghan and Harry talking about racism in the royal family. We are the ones who questioned it and said this doesn't make any sense and I am very proud of us. I have a very personal story at the end of this so please stick through that and also press the bell notice because I'm coming up with a big video that is going to be very interesting reviewing the spare or spare. So welcome back to my channel Leilani of Barbados. Let's just jump right into it. Harry has walked back his entire racism comment. I don't know if he thinks the 9 billion people or whatever that watched the Oprah interview no longer exist in this world, but he thinks he can now tell people that there was no racism ever mentioned. Nobody cared about it. We have the footage and one of his biggest problems is that he doesn't care enough about the words and what they mean. So Megan said, concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he's born. Oh, by the way, this video is all about the race thing. Okay. So if you don't want to hear about that, then click off now. But okay, back to what I was saying. Concerns and conversations. You use the word concerns, Megan. That has a negative connotation. So when you go to your doctor and your doctor says, I have some curiosities about your diet. You might think, oh, <laughs> I'm so fine, honey. He's just wondering like how I look so good, right? If your doctor says, I have some concerns about your diet, you immediately start thinking, oh no, he's gonna try to restructure my diet plan. He's thinking I'm eating too much this and that and whatever. I think that would be very damaging to them. And it's immediately a negative connotation. If it was just a curiosity, as Harry is now trying to say, why would that be a damaging thing? Use the words that you mean to use. And of course, Harry says here, the key word here was concern, as opposed to curiosity. Well, guess what? It started a literal race war to the point where even little me, okay, I'm not Pierce Morgan, I didn't lose my job. I'm not Sharon Osbourne, I didn't lose my job too. But I did feel like the death threats I got were a bit much just for saying that I didn't feel like asking a question about how dark his skin might be when he's born was an indication of racism. Now, if you go through these excerpts from the interview with Oprah, you will see that indeed Megan alludes to it being a detriment if the child came out to be a child of color. So we have in tandem the conversation of he won't be given security, he's not gonna be given a title, and also concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he's born. She says the titles will be taken away because of it. And then you have her mouthpiece, Omid Scobie, who's her friend. This special is going to be the first time we hear Megan talking about race and how racism has affected her, especially during her time as a working member of the royal family. Amplifying that sentiment. It's all about her racism that she suffered in the royal family. There was like a hunt for the raw racist. Neither of us believe that that comment or that experience or that opinion was based in racism. Unconscious bias, yes. Conversations with Harry about it and have your own suspicions as to why they didn't want to make Archie a prince. What are, what are those thoughts? It's not going to be given a title. And here we see two of the biggest telltale signs of lying. First of all, she looks to the left. Everyone knows in body language that means you're about to tell a lie. And then just the icing on the cake, <laughs> she does the second tell where she starts blinking really quickly to say concerns about the color of his skin. So the first tell where she looks to the left is that he wouldn't be given title. And the second tell is where she blinks and blinks and blinks to say that there were concerns about the color of his skin. So I just wanted to break that How down for you. How dark his skin might be when he's born. And I think that because they hadn't taken anything away, because the George V convention, which we'll go to, it is a style, it is a title of prince and princess that everybody will get once Queen Elizabeth passes away, basically. You know, you're gonna get it. There's nothing to say that there's a way to take that from her. So that's not even true. So how can you, Harry, sit down here with Anderson Cooper and try to walk it back and say, you know, I'm not saying anything more about it. Anderson Cooper definitely needed to have more pushback there. You also had almost two years to clarify that, to say that you did not believe there was racism. You had that opportunity. It's very frustrating <laughs> because now we have to sit here and connect all these dots and say, 
once again what's going on it doesn't make any sense it's a lot of text here that i want to read but the george V convention basically says that once prince charles becomes king charles harry's son and daughter would now be entitled to the title of prince and princess and then she was like also it's not their right to take it away well there she's absolutely correct because be jesus christ as we say in barbados if we could take away titles we would take them away we would we would take away the duke and duchess titles it is a very difficult procedure to go through so if we can't even take them away from you and your husband then how could we possibly take them away from these children and we meaning the royal we of course <laughs> how could we do it yeah we can't so unfortunate that is but i didn't like how she said that snarky comment she's a very snarky person and this book is turning out to be extremely vulgar extremely upsetting to read unnecessarily so and as a feminist that she proclaims herself to be and harry also proclaims himself to be a feminist yeah, that's right. They aren't doing a very good job painting women in a good light. I think because she's so insanely insecure and jealous that she wants him to talk about all of his escapades in a very dirty manner. And I do, I have said this before and I do still believe that this book should be giving an 18 plus rating. I think it's it's completely disgusting. And anyway, I'm gonna, uh, 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 we're saving it. We're saving it for the review <laughs> i'm just popping in to talk about the race okay good yeah so he walks it back and i just want to show you those things oh i actually disagree with this point that he makes here but i think that you speak to the majority maybe not all but the majority of mixed race couples around the world that the white side of the family would wonder whether talking openly about it or amongst themselves what the kids are going to look like it's usually the white family that you know questions what the race will be like it is the black side of the family that talks about whether the hair is gonna be good like my hair is good whether the skin's gonna be bright <laughs> they don't even say light light skinned and bright skin no both both sides of the family both black and white sides of the family talk about what the child's gonna look like i don't know why he said that he's still trying to place blame on his side of the family why do they have to be accountable for everything and you don't have to be accountable it wasn't the the media because harry's trying to say it was a fallout from the interview the media grabbed and ran with this racism thing no it is during the interview that your wife literally spoke about racism and things being taken away because of the color of the skin of her child possibly might be you can run but you can't hide honey it's there they have such a disconnect from reality and a disassociation with the people who they speak to, the public, that they think they can then come back and recreate history. I think it's a personality disorder of some kind, but I'm not, you know, I'm not here to talk about that. In front of the entire world stage, this narcissistic rage as well that you see with Harry. No, but what else did I say at the end of, at the, uh, within the Oprah interview? That you would not discuss it further. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> what did i tell you i'm done talking <laughs> and now to my story which i have held on to for i guess how old is my son seven years old i've held on to it for seven years okay i do think it is relevant and i'm happy that i have you to share it with let's go when my son was about two weeks old my husband had a facetime call with his half sister who said the words and I quote, it's so weird. He's the same color as Leilani. I didn't expect that. I thought he would be more like your color. Shut up, bitch. I listened to this conversation. I was there. She knew I was there as well. My husband says, okay, anyway, so how are you doing? What's up with you? And he's, he just changes the subject completely. But that really resonated with me. I didn't think it was racist. I thought it was more about a paternity question. Who's the father? You know, Mori Povich, you know. My husband and I didn't really speak about it after uh, the FaceTime call. He was very embarrassed by it. You could tell by his face he got like beat red. He was just very embarrassed by her trying to give an opinion on genetics. She's not a geneticist, by the way. She actually doesn't have a high school diploma. No tea, no shade. But the point is, <laughs> why would she 
opine on something that she knows nothing about. But two weeks postpartum, hormones running, everything. I never thought this was a racist statement, but he came out kind of like yellow and jaundice as babies do. And we tried to give him that vitamin D all the time to get his color up. So he actually wasn't my color. So it's funny that she made that remark. And yeah, may she burn in hell basically for being a massive bitch. By the way, this is a woman who had three children at the time. So she should know better. I'm so glad I got that off my chest. To be honest, my son is seven and I have never opened up about that to anybody, but I feel like it is very relevant. Even though she knew I was right there to hear it, I think it was very fucking annoying of her and bitchy and like, ain't nobody care about you at this time. So stop trying to get attention. So that was my story. And that is why I say that one has to be very careful with their words. I definitely think that this race problem has been solved and the monarchy is absolved as non-racist. I'm so happy about that. That's why I'm smiling so much because I'm really happy about that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this. <laughs> thank you so much for being here with me. I really wanted to get this off my chest for such a long time. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching me please press the bell notifs because i do have this book review coming out which i said is a very special put together thing that i've done okay and i hope you enjoy it very much so i just want you to know when it comes out lots of love to you love you bye don't forget to subscribe bye Noki somebody great britain and Megan, just so you know, this is Miss Great Britain tonight competing in the Miss Universe pageant. And this is what she looks like. Okay? Let that sink in.